Okay, listen. In your class of 40 students, 32 offer mathematics, 24 offer physics, and 4 offer neither math nor physics. How many offer both math and physics? So, I'm going to use set notation. Number of people that offer both, offer both, offer both, will be number of people of math in transition physics. That is the X. So, if that is the case, so number of how universal, let's say U is 40. It's 40. That is from here. And 32 offer math. So, number of students that offer mathematics is equal to 32. And number of students that offer physics here. Number of students that offer physics is uh, uh, 24. 24. Mm -hmm. What is it again? We have four offer neither uh, math nor this. So it means that's what you call complement. What you can find in the universal set or that, that are not in the, in, the, in, the, in the set. So and I have let put the notation like uh okay, math intersection uh or so they call union physics complement is equal to four. So let's draw a V diagram to see how we can place all this. So now let's say uh, we're having just two two things, math and physics. So we can this is our very data. Our U is a universal, it's 40. So we have a, a mathematics and physics. So they are going to intersect. So we have mathematics and we have physics. So then the intersection that we have to find, that is the number of students that study math and physics, is X. So it's X. Now, if S has been taken out of M, so what I left with is something like this. And don't forget, say the whole uh, mathematics, we are having uh, 32. So we need for us to get the remaining, uh, the math only, the number of people that study math only. So it's going to be 32 minus X because we have removed this part. The same thing happened to P. So what we are having here now is this. So we are taking this as x. So the many people here now, we now have uh, p, which is a uh, 24. So we say 24 minus x because you have put s as the intersection. And the question now say four offer neither. It means that is complement. None of them. Four students offer no math and physics. So which means it's going to be outside the two bracket, which is uh, four. Now and don't forget that the total number of students here now is 40. So what we need to do is to sum up all the students to be to equal to the universal set. So we have 32 minus x. We have plus x. We also have 24 minus x. We also have plus four. And we are told that the total number of students in class is 40 is equal to 40 so we can do additional subtraction so this x cancel this x we're left with minus x so 32 plus 24 plus 4 this is 28 so plus 28 so that is 10 1 5 6 so that is 60 so we have 60 minus x equals to 20 so we collect terms so we have 40 if this move to this i become minus 60 so we have minus x equals to minus 20 so you multiply through by minus so at the end of the day therefore x equals to 20 so if you have other question you can drop it in the comment below now so we see how